Let's be real, this scene from Season 1 Episode 4 of The Boys, where Homelander lets an entire airplane of people die, is The Boys' perfect scene. Because of Homelander's sinister presence, Queen Maeve's harrowing presence, and this scene being the perfect representation of The Boys as a show. First, Homelander's sinister presence makes the airplane scene the perfect scene of The Boys. And initially in this scene, Homelander does his standard Homelander fare. Stop the bad guy with a big smile on his face, then gets rewarded with an applause. Because he gave those people hope. But that's when shit gets sinister. Because then he showcased who he was behind the scenes. A reckless, uncaring madman. As he destroyed the airplane controls. Yes, the pilot was shot by the terrorist. But damn it, Homelander didn't need to destroy the airplane controls in the process. That was straight up reckless there. Even with the pilot dead, these people would have had a chance to live. Because one of them could have at least took control of the controls of the airplane. I really don't know how it works. But yet, Homelander couldn't give a shit. As he looked as uncaring as ever. Seeing everyone else in panic. And seeing all these flight controls destroyed. By him. The static audacity of this man is crazy. Obviously, this isn't excusing the terrorist being on the plane in the first place. Because they did some terrible stuff too. But, at least these people had a better chance at survival with those terrorists than they did with Homelander. Then, Homelander has the balls to go out there and give these people more false hope. And he actually put more effort into that than actually saving these people, which is too sinister. To me. It's just absolutely disturbing and disgusting. But then that's when Homelander showed his true face. After desperation and after getting Maeve out of there, and make sure there's no evidence of those two being there in the first place. He showed his true face before they all were about to die, and that's just so disturbing. It's so much more disturbing that he's not even trying to save these people. Which, on a weird side tangent, but Homelander not trying to save these people is a direct connection to the boys' Diabolica episode that showed Homelander's origins and his first mission. There, we see a young Homelander actually try and save people. It was oddly soothing to see Homelander try and be a hero. It was absolutely heartbreaking when it went absolutely horribly. With so many people dead and dismembered. And the dude just felt like an absolute failure at that point. However, Homelander got more success for the company Vought and himself by covering it all up with a PR scheme. Honestly, this shows why, in Homelander's own twisted mind, he believes that he did more good by covering it up than actually trying to save these people and actually trying to be a superhero. He's being a superhero for his own company, not for the people. Because it failed for him once no. to save people before. So why would he try it again? Which overall, Planner is just straight up sinister, especially in this scene. With this scene still being his worst act yet in The Boys. That makes this scene absolute perfection. Next, Queen Maeve's harrowing presence made the airplane scene the perfect scene of the boys. Yes, Queen Maeve isn't perfect at all. She has her own problems and her own little quirks as well, as much as these other members of the Seven. But from the start, her heroism felt far more genuine, especially in this scene. She didn't ask for a round of applause when Commander directed it toward her directed that round of applause toward her and praise and all that. Her attention went towards the pilot and the absolute concern for the pilot. It really felt really genuine that she did have concern for the pilot and these people. She felt human at this point. But after Homelander made the entire scene so much worse and chaotic for them, she genuinely seemed panicked. Not for herself, but for these people. Yet her drained face said it all after knowing that Homelander made up his mind, and she knows and feels that this is wrong. She's suffering with him. Yet, Homelander essentially forced Maeve off the plane just to avoid any evidence that they were there. And it actually made Maeve his accomplice to this wicked crime against humanity. Basically, he made her live with it and live with the fact that they let so many people die, that she let so many people die. And that absolutely broke her heart, lingering with her throughout the show. And that's just another type of suffering, man. I don't know how. Why would Homer do that to her, man? And why? I mean, you know why. Homer's a dick. Even if it did benefit the company she worked for, Vought, by pushing their agenda to have soups in the military, 
it just disgusted her. And it's a really great contrast from Homelander's twisted mind to Maeve's more reasonable human mind. And overall, Queen Maeve's harrowing presence reminds us of the humanity behind these manufactured heroes and further proves why this scene is absolutely perfect. Finally, the airplane scene perfectly represents the boys as a show, which the boys at its core is a critique on American culture, either the entertainment industry, vast corporations, or the political landscape of the entire nation. So basically, America. It does all of that through the most popular thing in pop culture, superheroes and cape shit, which in this scene, like the overall show, presents a sense of false security and hope with these heroes coming to save the day. Because these heroes are more like incompetent celebrities, puppets for a nasty corporation, bot. Which, speaking of that nasty corporation, bot, they constantly want to push their way into the political space throughout the show. And the way how they weave that political aspect into the scene is actually the scene after and actually connected to the airplane scene. It's basically the aftermath of it, which Hollander's way of damage control for this terrible thing was pushing Voss's agenda to have superhumans in the military, pushing for the congressmen and the people to vote for the bill. So nothing like this horrifying airplane scene will ever happen again. Which, honestly, looking at it now, I doubt Homelander even came to save these people in the first place. I just, I just feel like you want to make an example of these people on the plane, showing what happens if voters don't listen to the superheroes. And honestly, it's just absolute madness. Also, not to mention, this scene had the boys over the top signature gore, with bits of dark humor and the cynical view on superheroes. So yeah, this scene perfectly captures what the boys is as a show especially with the perfect dread of the idea of celebrities with superpowers. Overall, let's be real here. When Homelander lets an entire airplane of people die, that's the boy's perfect scene. Because of Homelander's perfectly sinister presence, Queen Maeve's perfectly harrowing presence, and how perfectly this scene represents the boys as a show. And I know there's plenty of diabolical and great scenes in this fantastic show, but I truly believe they hit their stride in the fourth episode of the show. And I know this scene isn't the easiest scene to watch, especially with the horrifying subject matter and the horrifying things you're just witnessing in an already horrifying and cynical show. But it reminds us of the deception of our reality, how twisted and evil it is, which makes that slight glimmer of hope shines so much brighter that we ought not to look like heroes but we ought to humbly be heroes protecting guiding and giving to others and i know it sounds like a dream world but like superman said dreams save us dreams lift us up and transform us into something better and on my soul i swear that until my dream of a world where dignity honor and justice are the reality we all share i'll never stop fighting Here's the end credits, and I'm honestly trying something else here. It's just kind of fun, and we'll see how it works out. And yeah, I did have this script going on forever, but I needed to finish it. Especially with The Boys airing right now with Season 4 out, which is, I think is really fantastic. And I honestly just gotta do it, because the algorithm's pushing for it. Might as well just capitalize on it, right? And I don't know, there's a lot of things to capitalize on this show, and it's just a fantastic show. I love it. I realize how some people are not the biggest fan of it still, or they've grown not to be a big fan of it, but I don't know, I think it's still really great, and it still has such great characters. And man, Homelander's hair looked good here. I don't know what it is, distraction, but yeah, Homelander looked really good in season one. I don't know why. Like overall, everything in season one is just fantastic, though. It's just a masterpiece of a season, with this episode being a masterpiece, and this scene being a masterpiece.